Okay, so with this here, right, we've got a sector, and they tell us the area of this sector, okay? And we can use that to work out the size of this angle EOF, right? And because they've told us the area of the sector, what I'd like to do as well is work out the area of the circle, okay? And you might think that there's no need for that, because we're just interested in the sector. But working out the area of the circle will actually really help us. So pi r squared, 3.14 times the radius, which is... 10 in this case it says up there isn't it and you get 314 okay centimeters squared and then what i need you to appreciate is that this sector is just a fraction isn't it of the um circle and in terms of the fraction well we talk about angles don't we okay because we know a circle is is out of 360 in total the fraction here of this circle will that is the sector is x over 360 isn't it because that's the angle we've got here, x, out of a total of 360. So that's the fraction, right, um, that's rep represented this circle by this sector. So we've got the fraction here of the circumference, of the area, 314, okay? So a fraction of the whole area of the circle will equal my 65. That makes sense. So hopefully you could see that there, right, and not too confusing, in that you work up the area of the full circle, we know the area of the um, sector, okay? We appreciate then that, that the sector is just a fraction of the, of the full circle. So the fraction of the full circle area, all right, will give you the sector area, 65. And a fraction is just x out of 360, isn't it? That represents the proportion, yeah, represents that part of that cir circle. So what we do then is, right, of course, of just means time. So, but what I'll do is I'll take that 360 up here, so I've got x times 314, yeah? That's what of is. But 360, because you're dividing, I take it up, and I'm going to times. And then to get x, all I've got to do is, I work this out, I'll do it all in one go now. Times that, and then I'll divide by the 314. Okay, so we get our answer. So 65 times 360, all over 314, and we get 74.5 degrees right that's the angle there it says and hence calculate the length of arc ef so we want this arc here all right but we know now this is 74.5 again now when it comes to working out the arc what we do first of all is, is it we're interested in the full circle so we work out the circumference which is pi d so that's 3.14 times the diameter and remember the diameter is going to be double the radius it's 20 and you get then 62.8 right for the circumference now, the arc represents a fraction, right? And that fraction will be 74.5, our angle, out of 360, times then the circumference, the whole circle the circumference, 62.8. Okay, so a fraction of that circumference we want based on our angle that we worked out in part A. So we get our answer then to be 12.996, so we can just round that to 13.0 centimetres.